I'm Ginny Metherill. I'm a fourth generation descendant witch. And today's video is all about something that is very close to many, many women's hearts, and men's for that matter, and that is your fertility. This was completely inspired, this video, by nature, and it came about because I was wandering in my garden and I was looking around at all the beauteous, overblown ripeness of the flowers and the hedgerows, the blackberries are out, the apple trees are bearing fruit. I was looking at the goldfinches eating out the sunflowers and my thistle heads, and it made me think that actually it's a really good time to set your seed at the moment, and this can be turned into a fertility spell. We're also coming up to the equinox on the 22nd of September. Now this spell works particularly well on that date because the earth is in balance with the sun directly above the equator of the earth. And therefore, we're going to use the earth's magic to tip the balance into your favour for fertility. So the first part of the spell you will have to go foraging for because of course it is the acorn. Now I've got some acorns here, you can see it comes from the oak tree and the oak has these crinkly cut leaves that you can see and these beautiful acorn fruits. These are fresh acorns so they're green, you can have old acorns, the brown ones. The only thing that I would ask you to do is that when you pick the acorns just ask the tree for its permission and promise the tree that you will return the acorns to the earth in due course. So, your first thing is get yourself foraging. Get out into the countryside and find yourself some acorns. Now the acorn, of course, comes from the oak tree, which is one of the sacred trees to the Druids. They would have sacred groves of oak trees where they would perform their rites. And in fact, many of the Druids' rites were, we think, only performed under the boughs of an oak tree. Oak trees are very long lived, you know, they can live up to a thousand years. So oak trees have the knowledge of ages within their magic. The ancients used to perform their marriage ceremonies under the oak tree. So people could choose to be married and choose to how long they could be married. And the standard time was a year and a day or 13 years or for your lifetime. So most people went for the year and the day option, first of all, which is sort of, you know, marriage light, which I think is quite good. Acorns have been symbols of fertility and abundance for almost as long as we've been casting spells. That's pretty much forever. And this will make a great spell in fertility. We're going to use three acorns, so you don't need very many. So you can pick your acorns, ask the tree for its permission and promise that you will return most of the acorns the earth when you have finished. People think I'm a bit of a tree hugger, which is maybe true, maybe I'm a tree hugger. I do not like hugging a tree after all. However, that's not to say, I think it's just polite to ask the tree if I'm nicking its stuff, so I tend to. The second part of the spell uses sunflowers. Now you can use any part of the sunflower. You can use their seeds. My sunflowers haven't set their seeds yet, so I'm just going to use some of their petals. But you can use sunflower seeds from a shop, or you can buy the flowers themselves and use their petals. All parts of the plant are available for use in this spell. The sunflower was a South American plant. It was revered by the Aztecs for being incredibly fertile and bringing abundance. And they are flowers of the sun. They follow the sun as it crosses overhead. Sunflowers came over from the Americas in about the 1500s and were quickly adopted by the Northern Europeans who in immediately incorporated them because they understood them to be a very heavily magical plant. I love sunflower. Now, the third aspect of the spell, I'm going to use a crystal. And the crystal I've got is a red adventurine. Red adventurine is very good at balancing hormones, success, and endurance, and it's the success and the endurance that we want from the Red Adventurine. We're going to use these three potent ingredients to create a spell for your fertility. However, pay attention class, before you start, there are two things I need to discuss. The first is that this spell in absolutely no way should be in replacement of any other medical advice that you are given. So what it will do, for example, is if you are going through IVF, it will enable the IVF. 
The second thing I need you to do is to make sure that your body is in the best state possible it can be to receive this spell. So don't drink, don't smoke, if you don't eat particularly well, take a good multivitamin every single day. And for women, I would always suggest that you take a Vitex Agnus Castus to help you. And I really need you to have everything in balance and ready so that we can move forward with this spell. Secondly, this spell is also a six month spell. The spell will become its strongest due to the way that we're using the magic of the earth at around Christmas tide. It is a six month spell and it lasts for six months because we're using the six month cycle of the earth to help tip the balance in your favour. The most common time for people to become pregnant is actually at Christmas tide and have babies in September. So if you do the spell on the 22nd of September, you could well be looking at holding a baby in your arms by the same date in 2021. We just recap. Follow your doctor's advice and continue with doctor's advice. And if you are thinking of seeking medical advice for problems, then go seek. The spell in itself is actually very simple. So I want you to go to your oak tree, asking the oak tree its blessing, choose three acorns. Now you take these acorns and you just combine them with the sunflower. Now you can either do that by combining the sunflower's flower petals or you can use sunflower seeds. I want you to take your red adventurine and place it in the middle of the pot and cover it with the acorns and the sunflowers, making sure that a part of each acorn is touching the red adventurine and that the sunflowers are scattered over the top. Now you need to take a wand and use that wand to stir the spell, so to speak. I'm actually going to use a twig from the oak tree as a wand because it has great energy in it and I can communicate with the acorns better using an oak tree twig. So I'm going to take my oak tree twig, stir the air above the pot and I would say something like, may these three elements ensure the boosting of my facility and a great outcome to this spell. Now you need to do this obviously on the 22nd of September. The best time, if you can, to do this is midday. However, if it's not, just do it in the afternoon rather than the morning. We're looking at the balance going forward, so you need the second half of the day rather than the first half. Once you've cast your spell, I want you to take two of those acorns, plant them somewhere outside. You, you know, if you don't have a garden, just go to the local park, stick them in a hole. Um, but I would plant them somewhere where you could hopefully see that they may come up. The third acorn, I want you to keep by your bed because there are going to be days in your life when you think, oh, this is ever going to happen. Carry it with you and it will give you strength. I really hope that you like this spell. It is an old spell. I'm using old magic here, especially with the burying. I did a spell, very not quite this one, but one very similar to this many years ago. This is a slightly stronger spell in my opinion and I've got three children. If you have any problems with how to work this spell, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help you. But in the other time, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in my next video.